All right, so these are the three tables. We got two side tables. As you can see, one's tiny bit smaller uh, than the other. And then we have a coffee table. So I'm gonna be giving these a rustic farmhouse makeover. Stay tuned. process that I'm at right now. Uh, if you haven't checked out my story earlier, you'll see the before of the tables that I'm working on. Right now I'm tackling the two side tables before, because I'm still kind of figuring out what I want this to look like. And I don't want all of the pieces to be identical. I just want them to look like they are from the same family. So I am doing a faux palette looking top on the two side tables. And I wanted to share with you uh, how frustrating sometimes DIY can be. So uh, let me flip the camera around. Okay, so as you can see, painting the base is totally easy peasy. I'm still kind of, I think I have one more coat to do on the X bracing um, uh, on the top, but that's the easy part. So I had to go in with painter's tape and I'm trying to create the illusion of what like pallets would look like or pallet wood or um, wood planks or shiplap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm trying to give that effect, but in like a fake way. So I want there to be um, basically the ability to peel off uh, certain areas so I can paint each part a different color. Um, I'm gonna stick probably within between two or three colors. So this table was easy to do. Um, it's a little tedious. Um, I got my scissors, got my painter's tape just to cut like straight, uh, straight lines. Uh, but this one was pretty easy to do. When I got to this one, um, I got all the way here and realized, oh, I had extra, but this is actually a lot better than it was. I had to go back and <laughs> pull up all the tape I had already laid down and move it slightly over and then go back and re-secure everything. So you may not be able to see all of the creases now, but that's basically where I made all the cuts. So there's gonna be a lot of different cool effects going on once I start painting. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you that this probably took me 30 minutes to do. <laughs> and usually you think the painting part is the hard part, but uh, sometimes the prep and the paint and the taping, like when you paint, um, uh, like if you paint a, a wall in a room, it's like you don't realize how much masking you have to do prior to the actual paint job itself. But I really want this to be right. And uh, the other thing that I really was kind of toying back and forth with, I couldn't really decide, is if I wanted the planking to go vertically or if I wanted to go horizontally. So here's kind of my thought process. Since there is a rounded edge on either side, I kind of wanted that to be where the end of the wood plank kind of illusion would cut off because if I did it horizontally it would just look weird and wood isn't shaped that way and I just didn't want to make my life harder so I decided that going vertically was the best course of action because actually with the coffee table which is right here um, the stripes are going to be going uh, this direction as well. So that's kind of why I wanted to start on the smaller tables first just to see how they turn out before I commit to the larger table so yeah that's kind of where i'm at i'm hoping to finish both of these tables um, today and then i can tackle the coffee table tomorrow once i've kind of gained a little bit more perspective and um i definitely think it's good to kind of think things through as you do them and to not like rush into anything so let me turn the camera back um one thing that i love to do every time i do a project is i like to create a pinterest board 
Um, if you don't know that I am a, like a Pinterest fanatic, Pinterest guru, whatever you want to call me, uh, Pinterest is like my main jam and uh, I've been on it since like the platform began in 2010. Uh, but I always create a secret board for every project I work on and that's where I gather all my inspiration. So sometimes clients will send me inspiration of what they want their table to look like or what they want the furniture piece to look like what, or that kind of feel. So I'll upload all those pictures to a board and then I'll go through and I'll look for more research that helps kind of get the creative juices flowing for me so that I can figure out what my best course of action is. painted that I had to mask so all of this is gonna look really great once I peel back all of the layers. Coffee table painted. I'm still waiting on some paint to dry to paint the top of the X support. 
Everything else is painted though on the base. And this is where I'm at with the side tables. I'm really happy with how they've turned out. I'm still gonna be going through and hand painting little borders to make this look more like a plank. So it looks like, uh, more like shiplap. Um, this is just a total faux painting job on the top of the table and the base of the tables are the same color in the deco art uh, chalk paint that's called vintage. That's the color if you want to look it up. Uh, anyways, but yeah, that's where I'm at with the table so far. I can't wait to see how I tackle the coffee table. I'm going to hop on here and kind of update you on where I'm at with my tables. And I'm going to work on this table. I've got my power sander ready. Got my glasses, got my uh, face mask. I'm gonna work on at least getting the tabletop sanded today and mask off some areas for the paint idea that I have. Uh, so I'm gonna start painting, I think, again, once if there's a little less moisture in the air. But uh, yeah, I will take you along on my process and uh, stay tuned. table right now. Um, currently I've masked off a bunch of areas um, because I am adding some different colors that I actually had added to this these uh, side tables. So I had said when I first started this project I want these pieces to look like they're from the same family but I didn't want them to look identical since all of these were like super dark and the, the legs are all metal so I am so grateful that I have uh, the opportunity to work with Deco Art. They sent me a bunch of amazing chalk paint. You can see kind of my little stash over here of chalk paint. Um, that really works on any surface and it's really great because you don't have to do a lot of sanding prior to painting. So with these, I did a bunch of masking and painting. I'm actually in the process of aging with sandpaper on like the edges and the sides of the legs. So it has a little bit of a weathered look to it. You can see it kind of on the sides as well. Uh, I'm still working on that part. And then I'm actually gonna be taking some dark furniture wax and I'm gonna be uh, sealing. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a clear furniture wax first to seal it and then a dark wax after that to kind of give it a little more of a weathered look. I haven't really, I've had it, well, I haven't really done that on the coffee table yet, but I did take my power sander and go over the majority of the surface of the top of the coffee table. And then I restained it with this amazing briar smoke uh, wood stain. So this is it, ferrothane wood stain in the color briar smoke. And I actually went back over with some sandpaper. So I actually, after I stained it, I went back once it dried. I only did one coat of the stain after I sanded and it took a long time to sand it because I guess there were just so many layers of the original stain on it originally. Um, so then, I, I'm sorry, I uh, keep getting my shadow in the way of the project. Uh, then I went back and I actually sanded to give it more of a weathered look before I started painting. So I want these pieces to kind of mimic what's happening on these tables. So they kind of look like wood planks, like kind of inset into the little frame that I created around the center of the coffee table. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how they're turning out and I can't wait to share the final project and do the after photos and I can't wait to share them with my client. I really hope she likes them. She basically gave me creative license to do whatever I wanted but uh, she did kind of give me some inspiration. She definitely loves that like rustic farmhouse look. All right, so these are the side tables. Hello, thanks for joining live. So I added uh, the products I used. I aged the edges of the table down with sandpaper and 
For the faux wood planking that I hand painted, uh, I kind of added a little bit of a dark furniture wax to the edges with, a, with an artist brush. It's uh, Annie Sloan soft wax in the dark formula. They also have a clear one that's also great. I just only have this now. Um, and I applied that to the edges and then used a towel to kind of smudge a little bit to make it like appear like it, they're separate wood planks. So it's all like a faux paint job. So that is that table. This one is a little bit uh, smaller. Same idea though. And I even did it on the sides as well. So it appeared to be a wood plank. And then with the coffee table, you guys got to see that process a little earlier. This is what it's looking like now. So I'm really, really happy with the after. I added another layer of wood stain. It's the Verithane uh, brand in Briar Smoke. I really loved it, so I did two coats of that once I sanded this thing down. And then I hand painted these planks as well, so it's all faux painted. And I did the same effect to these uh, faux wood planks like I did on the smaller tables. I also used a clear wax that I have, Daddy Vans Lavender Furniture Polish. It works really well. I love it a lot. Um, you can get it on Amazon and it's not nearly as expensive as the Annie Sloan, which I still love and it's, uh, you know, this one's lasted me for years because I don't use it very often, but the clear wax I went through pretty quickly. Anyways, um, I also aged down the sides of the legs and I actually just finished doing a full um, coat of this all over the coffee table, so I'm waiting for that to kind of absorb and dry. I worked on these two earlier and allowed it time to dry but I'm also gonna be doing a clear coat of uh, a protectant because my client has a seven-year-old and she wants to make sure that the tabletop doesn't get damaged when she puts drinks on it and things like that. So I'm trying to make this thing last as long as possible. If anyone has any tips on like clear like varnishes they like to use on furniture that they flip, I am so open to trying new things, but um, I'm using what I have and I'm really excited to see that this is actually coming out looking really beautiful. I would love to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments. And also, if you guys live local to Los Angeles, I would love to help you flip any furniture that you have. You feel free to direct message me.